Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm going to do a quick reading and I might have to open this up as a second reading later on in the day because I'm a bit short of time, but it's on fire. Um, so it's going to be quick. Right, the first deck I was drawn to um, is this one, which I haven't, I mean, look, it's got dust. <laughs> it has dust on the top of it. I haven't used it for that long. And as I was shuffling it, one of the animal oracle cards fell out. So this card has been in that deck for ages. And it says everything that's coming in this morning. Okay, so we're in the sacral, we're in Kundalini, we are in learning to harness and use our own magic, learning to be dangerous and courageous. That's the message that's coming through. And um, what came through this morning, I actually did a, a reading with a, with a fellow mystic very early this morning, because there's so much coming in and it was about stepping up. Have you seen, do you know the magician card in the major arcana? It's stepping up to that table and it's raising all sorts of questions about what they're my tools but I'm not worthy of using those tools. I don't know how to use, I daren't use those tools. That's gonna to book convention, that's going to set me apart. And what else came out in that reading was the fool. And um, one of the great images of the fool card is a man walking down the street with his bottom hanging out of his low hanging trousers. And that's the energy of the fool is to not care in a way that allows us to be truly individual and unique, to not fear the judgment and derision of others in a world that wants us normal and in a box, all right? So this is a major Kundalini here, and I think I said this the other day, there is 55, look, this is... It might not be pretty, it might not be easy, there are some difficult challenges coming out. We've got Mars going into Gemini, and I don't even want to feel into that because, you know, that might be the second reading and need to keep this quick. So I shuffled these cards and only one card came out. And that's it. Now in the physical, this could literally look like Remember the changes, the bodily changes I was talking about recently. Of, I'm eating the same foods, what's wrong with you? It could literally be a dysfunction in the belly. And if we go into the macro and look at the collective suppression of the belly, the uh, all the immunity disorders, all those squashed feelings, all of the repressed anger and passion. This isn't gonna look pretty. I really wanna emphasize that. Right, that's it. Underlying card is unity and the illusion of separation, the illusion that you know we might feel alone in this. And the aloneness is a key ingredient of the phase of learning that got exposed this morning. And the phase of learning is walk this part of the path alone because only when we are alone do we get pushed right out of our comfort zone to the edges of our world where it's gritty and it's edgy and I don't know how to harness this energy. That's the stepping up to the magician's table. I don't know, I don't know. I'm not being told what to do, I don't know. It's that kind of, there's fear in there, there's edge in there, there's serpent healing in that time to shed a skin. It's shedding the skin of conformity. It's the have had enough, it's that. Yeah, this is really tapping into my belly space, is tapping into that Mars energy coming in and the difference between empowered communication and aggressive, manipulative, overbearing communication. So it's gonna question all sorts of woundings within us. And for this reading, I've separated out the shamanic deck from the shaman oracle, so I can get a more potent catch of what's coming through. So please speak into...
this is literally the number. <laughs> this is 59.14.5 is drilling right into the psyche to spark change and lift the Kundalini and it's coming in from all that guides us. Like I say, there is so much unbidden help um, at the moment. It's, it's pouring in, it's pouring in. It's like it can see what's coming and it's within us. It's within and without, it isn't separate to us. We're connecting to it. And this might also speak into the upliftment of the Merkaba the upliftment of the chariot, the healing of the chariot, the healing of the ability to move forward in your life. There's so much stuck energy at the moment. This is the intensification of this grand square that we're in. And we could call it a grand cross. It's the same thing, but cross is about how we are bonded to the cross of space and time. It's like what I'm seeing is we've been using the same tool on the Magi table for so long that it's become comfortable and true life and true adventure cannot feel that comfortable. We can only build the new by exploring the edge. Quick as well, this energy feels quick. Okay, wow, Ooh, wow. Thunder creates all sorts of changes on a physical level. For the highly sensitive, you'll literally feel the thunder in your uh, electromagnetic frequency. You'll feel the thunder, you'll feel the lightning. That foreboding, it's that kind of energy. So it's learning to harness that rather than to kind of fear it or be resistant to it. Here we go again. Look. Coming in on the seven, the mystic. And the beloved wants to speak to the unity of cosmic consciousness. Ah. Oh. Fifteen six, devil energy, Mars, toxic masculine. In everybody, it's nothing to do with men or women. In everybody. This is the disempowered masculine. This is the masculine that must win the point. Being lifted up. This is a big upliftment. Oh. Wow and wow. <laughs> This is the cross of space and time. All right. This could be a one hour long reading. And we are between the full moon, which was pretty brutal, and the new moon coming in Virgo, um, which is the rebuilding. And I'll do a separate reading on that. Right, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Because too many cards here. Okay, so the beloved magical child. The free child, yeah, absolutely. The cards are doing all the work for me today, thank you, beautiful. So straddling worlds, um, you might feel lost one moment and, and fully in your passion the next. Okay, there isn't this sudden thunderous shift and we're all in the, <laughs> in a new energy. It's gonna be this back and forth and Virgo wants to kind of clean the wardrobe one garment at a time careful and it's conscious it's very conscious a very conscious pro i can't even with these cards they all want to speak you see what's coming in so straddling worlds be lost it's okay be lost for a wee bit this this week see the bigger picture to go with the thunder we have rain so rain wants to wash the field clean okay Six. 
because this is what's being born is the wild woman it's that passionate expression in the middle world so in this reality and this is the cosmic the tree of life oh, we're talking about if we're talking about thunder we're talking about the kabbalistic tree of life and how the lightning comes in comes down through all the major arcanas through all, the whole chakric system oh wow so nate right gosh of course of course we're talking about collective consciousness we're talking about nature and we're talking about the animal kingdom and we're talking about the crystal kingdom everything is going to be uplifted okay i'm going to finish with an oracle card um So this week, tension, there might be conflict. Um, it's interesting because when I tuned into, well, when I remembered that Mars has just gone into Gemini where it's going to be for seven months, um, it's to do with data and communication and the challenge of that Martian energy. What happened in the same moment is I got two emails, one from Brand YouTube and one from two bloggers telling me that my uh, account on Brand YouTube has been hacked, which I don't care about because I don't use it anymore. Um, and then uh, a story that was shared with me about Google and about searching for something, it coming up with a billion search results. But then if you kind of go forward to page 35, you'll find some of the same results that were on page one, two, and three. And if you go further forward, the same thing keeps happening. And so for my cynical self, I might say that we trade on numbers and Google as a commodity is more likely to be invested in if it has a billion hits than if it has 326,000. But I'm cynical. <laughs> Think of it. Yeah, absolutely. This is, look, here comes Virgo. Ah, so Virgo is, um, it's kind of harvest season. And then what follows that is the reseeding. And this is where we go into this gestation period and, and, the, and the cycles work concurrently. So we are harvesting and we're also planting between worlds all at the same time. I know I'm going very fast. Um, watch me on half speed, that would be my best advice. So we're in this gestation period and that might speak to the stuckness. I'm, I'm reading a lot of stuckness for Sagittarius. And if we're talking Sag, we're talking off Eucus and we're talking the galactic center. And that's a bigger story that I don't know if I'll tell you <laughs> what the hell energy is coming through the galactic center at the moment, but that's another reading. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's squeeze in as much as we can. Ask a few too many. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> right, so Dust Devil is stirring up the dust um, to move us out of stagnation again with the 15 6. It's devil energy. And we could, and as we move between worlds, we can so easily go back to what we know so easily because everything's changing. It feels bloody uncomfortable. And absolutely, absolutely, we can go back to our old world. Look how beautiful this card is. Look at the beginning of this glowing heart. Wow. Twenty-four six. <laughs> the cross of space and time. That's the alchemical marriage. And how are we bonded to the cross? How are we bonded in this reality, in this dimensional reality? This is very, we've gone all the way up the fractal. Okay, can we pull this back down, please? Can we pull this right back down into the 3D? Oh, 
body building very conscious Yeah, what I'm being shown is the fractal of which choice do I make and as we go up that fractal, as we speak into the collective, the collective is going to pull the whole system one way or the other, and that will create the conflict to pull your sword out of the stone, to pull the light out of matter, pull your light out. Fabulous. That might be the quickest reading I've ever done. And um, <laughs> we'll probably do a follow up on this. Let's close this out, please. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Again, since I last mentioned I saw dragonflies, I've seen like another seven dragonflies. And I don't want to get too attached to the mythical meaning of dragonflies. There is some significance that will be different for all of us, but dragonflies abound at the moment. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. That's the difference. It's, that's the difference is what we get bonded to. So a belief is where we've become stuck in something, when we believe something. So all dragonflies mean um, news, um, a message, messengers. Okay, so I'm stuck in that belief. Can it be anything else? It's asking those the questions that wobble us. Right, so it's a wobbly time. Is that, what I, is that what I call this video? It's a wobbly time, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna leave you guys with my love and um, I'll be back, take care. Oh, welcome new subs. I see you.